YouTube, what it do, baby? We are back with another video. Hopefully, everybody's having an amazing day or night. Um, the Cold War update just dropped. As soon as this video drops, uh, the update dropped as well at 11 o'clock, um, 12 Eastern, 12 a.m. Eastern, so 11 p.m. my time. Um, but anyway, we're going to be covering these weapons, the top five classes that you can use, not necessarily attachments that you can run with it because I want to do some testing. I'm not going to go ahead and, and, and jump in here and say, oh, these are the best attachments. I, I want to make sure I get that right for you guys. So I'm not going to lie to you uh, about the attachments, but I am going to show you the weapons that are going to be probably the meta here in at least Cold War multiplayer. Uh, like I said, the Warzone update is uh, the Warzone update is going to be tomorrow. So I'll cover that tomorrow. But and we're going to see the patch notes of what they have for that, which will be very interesting. Is it going to be a burst meta still? I, I don't know, man. But anyway, this is the Cold War update for you guys. Uh, the buffs and the nerfs. I'm going to have the stuff on screen here in a second. But I'm going to jump through um, the classes really quick. And then I'm going to show you at the end what's gotten buffed, what's gotten nerfed. So you guys can see that right in front of you. So you, I'm not lying to you guys about that. So anyway, let's jump into these top five weapons that you can run here in Cold War multiplayer. And let's jump right into it, man. So for the first one, we have the uh, Krig 6 yes this got a buff man this got a buff um absolutely crazy um it was, it was already very very good um here in uh here in cold war especially in multiplayer i hopefully it gets better in warzone maybe we see a good update for it tomorrow we will see but this craig six right here it's going to be an absolute monster here in multiplayer um, i'm curious to see what it's going to be like in league play because i know a lot of people were using that so make sure you guys rock this craig six out try the attachments especially when this update drops here tonight so that is the first weapon i'm going to show you guys and then we have the side scroll hurt not the side scroller this is the the blueprint of it this is the ffar Okay, and you guys are probably sick of seeing this bad boy, especially in Warzone, but it got a buff. Okay, not for Warzone, but in Cold War multiplayer, this thing got a buff. I, I'm shocked because it was actually very good after the, uh, the recent buff they gave it. So they did give this thing a buff and i will show all the stats and what they did at the end of the video so stay tuned for that just to, to see what they did so they did get a buff for this ffr one um it's going to be a monster multiplayer i'm just very excited to use it i'm going to have class setups of all these weapons um here in the near future probably tomorrow i'll start throwing out class setups for these top five weapons individually so you can see the attachments on what to run because there are some attachments that also got buffs and got nerfs as well so the ffar one that's the second one um, then the next one we have the natural order. This is the growl variant the tier 100 variant from the past season and This growl actually got a 40% damage range increase damage range increase 40% man That's literally half of it like that is insane to me and this thing is a sleeper man people are starting to use this in warzone as well for close quarter combat they're mixing it even with the ffr1 and just having two weapons with good mobility and just melting people um put an optic on it um, i heard the iron sights were broken but i believe they did get fixed so for multiplayer this thing got a 50 percent basically 50 percent damage range range increase so the growl is going to be a monster um and if it can have range Ooh, watch out and i don't know what they're going to do in warzone but if it translates over and they do it just like they did a multiplayer it could be a very very viable weapon in warzone so the growl or not the growl excuse me the groza maybe the growl will make a return to <laughs> the, the groza or the growza whatever you want to call it um another weapon to run in multiplayer um once the update drops or once you're watching this uh the next one we have the milano you guys are like the milano i i, I loved using this thing I really did. I loved using this bad boy. Um, it was very fun to use. Very good mobility, even with eight attachments, and I loved it. So they buffed this thing. Uh, they buffed this thing for multiplayer. This is going to be one of my go-to weapons in multiplayer, I believe, because it has very little uh, recoil, if not none, once you learn how to control it. Um, the fire rate's a little bit slow, but like I said, this did get a buff, and I'll show all these at the end of the video. So this is another weapon that you can rock, especially for multiplayer, and maybe it'll make it viable in Warzone as well. But like I said, those will be all new patch notes tomorrow uh, when we get those. So, yeah, man, uh, Milano tried out, and I'm gonna like I said, I'll I'll be mixing in, in mixing in these class setups for you guys uh, and what the best attachments are um, here in the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, man. We got one more. Uh, so we have the Dragon Idol, which is a variant to the KSP 45. And you guys, KSP 45. This thing got a burst reduction, so the time before burst, in between burst, is less. So you can just keep firing it, like boom, boom, boom. Like the burst is very quick now. Uh, and they also added, uh, I believe, damage or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but I will have that on the screen right after I'm done showing this. But they buffed this thing, and it was already pretty good if you had the right attachment. So this thing is going to be a go-to in multiplayer. Um, hopefully all these things do change 
and especially in Warzone as well, because I know a lot of people like Warzone more than Cold War multiplayer. Um, but I've always been a multiplayer guy. So the KSP got a buff, um, and there's some other weapons that got a buff as well. I don't, I don't think LMGs got touched. Um, but, yeah, man, we're going to see what it's like uh, with all these weapons. So let's go through them one more time. So we have the, the Krig buff. We got the uh, FFAR1. We got a buff. For the Groza, we got a buff. Um, Milano buff. And then for the uh, KSP45, we also got a buff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show that on the screen right now for these weapons. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, but, yeah, man, take a look at these right now. I'll have it on the screen. Um, hope you guys have an amazing night. Hopefully the update treats you well. And I will catch you all later. Peace.